Hi George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using an old book current set, stamp set, Forever Blossoms and I'll be using that image, the flowers. And for the sentiment I've got this Little Delights which is in the Autumn catalogue and I only bought this because I like the font on the sentiments and I'll be using that birthday wishes. The cards I've got, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, two pieces of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, a piece of um, Cocoa Rose I think this is. And the reason I've got this as it was the first big piece, this is Barmy Blue, it was the first big piece of scrap I picked out and that measures 5 inches by 3 and a quarter. Then I've got a piece of white that measures 4 and 3 quarters yeah, by 3. So it's a quarter inch small around. And then I've got this piece that measures four and a half by two and three quarters. Now actually this I cut out with these dies. I used this die to cut the whole thing out and then I used was it that one? No it's this one. Another one to do the framing. Now these aren't stamping up dies. These are just dies I've had for years. But stamping up two to rectangle dies. And then I embossed it in a, it's got a triangle pattern. Yeah, that's the right way. Remember it has it's got stitching around the edge. And that will sit on there like that on dimensionals. Right, first of all we've got to stamp our flower. I've got a piece of scrap here. Oh, I know what we need. We need the die. Now I did measure this and I can get this on my little um, machine. Memento black ink and um, ink it off and stamp it down. There we have it. And we're going to colour this in. I've got two colours, Rococo Rose and Granny Apple Green. So, colour all the leaves in Granny Apple Green. flowers haven't used this set for ages I was stuck in a rut I couldn't make cards I was in fact I was at card class and 
I made two cards and ended up putting them in the bin because they were awful. So I went on Pinterest and got some ideas from Pinterest so that's where this one come from. Alright, that's all the granny apple green done. And now we're just going to do Rococo Rose Light, I think this is. Yeah. each flower in. Just had a visit from my daughter and grandson which was nice. She only popped in because they were bored. And of course as soon as she stepped out of her house it started to rain. So if you use this set and it is still current so I thought I'd use it the trouble is finding um, stamps that are still current that I've got Nine times out of ten, I guarantee the stamps I've got are the ones that are retired. Oh, great. I think my Rukaka Rose is going to run dry. I don't think I've got a re inker for this one. And I think I've only got three sheets of cardstock in the Coco Rose. Just cut around this roughly. So we can cut it out. That 
gonna do. in the bin and that to go back in the box right and that will go on there oh I think that look nice right we need this and I am going to Place that on there evenly. Just so I know where to tape to tape to stamp birthday wishes. And we're gonna stamp this right near this edge. Something delicate that it's not bold and in your face. Right, let's get all this stuck together. Glue this up and stick this to the Rococo rose. This will go on to here. And then this. go on here, probably the right way round. And that bit, I'm actually going to stamp in the middle my birthday stamp. Wishing you a beautiful day. Like that. Somebody did ask me where I got that from. And I think, if I'm honest, it was the Acker magazine. Free of our magazine. Or I couldn't tell you where it came from. I just liked it and I've been using it ever since I keep saying I should look for another one right now this I'm going to put up on dimensionals what I'm actually going to do is put them up on this these strips
たのAll right, putting all these uh, dimensionals on, strips on, foam strips on. That is getting the backs off them. Right. Yeah. And then this sits at an angle like that. Now this is where we need the mini dimensionals. big leaf and then two on the petals or buds Now, take all these off. And just pop some glue on. Perfect like that. What we need to add now is some gems. Let's see if I'll find some. And I'm going to pop one in each centre of each flower. Four and one there, five. 
because we've got to have an odd number. There we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.